Hi everyone, this is Jordan the Tattooed Stitcher. I'm back for floss tube number 31 and it's my just regular update and at the end I'll show my bags um, that I'm gonna bring to Stitch West. I thought maybe that'd be interesting to see. So I'm on a time crunch today. Oh my gosh, my tongue is kind of blue. I've been eating candy. <laughs> I'm on a little bit of a time crunch today, so I'm going to hopefully not speed too quick through it, but I do have a bit to show. Uh, I hope everyone has had a really good last two weeks and had a good Easter. Um, and yeah, we'll save life updates for the end as well. So I'm going to jump into my whips. I do have one finish, um, but I can't show it. I'm sorry. I hate when people do that. I can't show it. It is a secret project that I've been stitching for the last few months um, that I'm going to be giving to a friend exchanging at Stitch West. So I finished it right at the final hour. I still have to FFO it, but um, maybe I'll take a little picture of it. I'll take a picture of it before I give it and then um, I'll show it in my next video. So that had took up a bit of my stitching time as well. Okay, so first whip I'll show oh, when it's in a hoop. I gotta take it out. I'm prepared as usual. If you've been here a bit, you're used to it. Okay, so, oh no. Oh my gosh, I actually got the hoop one twisted. Okay, sorry, rocking the camera. All right, first whip is the blue fa blue flower huckleberry farm um so i can't remember exactly what it looked like the last time you saw it i'm pretty sure i didn't have the house so this is where it is right now i'm there's more like on the bottom but you've seen that so this is i've got the whole top completely finished except for i've got a few more letters right there under the bear and um, bee skip motif. So I stitched this gorgeous house. I loved stitching that house. It was really big, but it was just really interesting to stitch and I loved it. And then I did some more words. I finished this um, squiggle zigzaggy border all the way across. And then I did the third motif along the top and started on that line. I think I've still got some berries or leaves to do here, but yeah. So here's its glory. It's so, so pretty. I haven't worked on it in like a week though. Other things I've been working on. I don't want to pile those there. Okay. Um, the next whip I worked on was, uh, what is this called? With thy needle and thread seasons of the heart spring. I'm stitching this on 40 count, um, old sheep from XJU designs. Um, so I, did some more of the house. I finished the house, so I'm just filling it in now. I did this pot. I think that pot is all the way finished now. I started on these two flowers. I did the butterfly and these two trees. I still have some more grass to do down here and then finish this border. And then that one will be done. It's really pretty. I love the way that one's looking. <clears throat> and then the other whip I worked on was dwelling place. I'm stitching this with my mother-in-law for her birthday. Um, and Bernadette from Burn Stitches also joined us um, stitching this one. I'm stitching it on 40 count <sighs> dirty teacup from ne Needle and Flax. And this is where it is now. So I'm pretty sure you haven't seen this yet. Like. I did all of this. I don't think that that was there when I showed it in the last video. So I did all the plant work in the pot and then I just keep like alternating with a strand of the blue 
but it's really pretty. Okay, and then my last whip is actually a new start and I will show, oh no, I have more whips. I have more whips there on the floor. <laughs> okay, so last Sunday I had um, my regular monthly Zoom Zoom meeting chat with um, Sarah Memphis Sarah E and Bernadette Burn Stitches and Denise from Black Ribbon Stitch Studio. And they're the ladies that I'm stitching. There are other ladies in the is stitching, but they haven't joined us for a Zoom for a bit. Um, but we're stitching Grandma's House from Praiseworthy Stitches. Um, so I did my Zoom with them and I did not feel like trying to count and chat. So I decided to pull out Feast of Friendship and I filled in, I brought the border down along the side and I did a little bit more roof and then I started outlining um, some of the blue in the house. So there's two different colors of blue outlined in there. So that is, it wasn't a ton, but that's what I did on that. It's really hard to chat and stitch. That's, that's a lot of the reason I don't get a lot of stitching done at retreats. <laughs> I'm not good at doing two things at once in that sense, like talking and counting and doing, I, I can't do it very well. Um, okay, and then the last whip that I worked on for Wicked Wednesday or Witchy Wednesday, whatever you want to say, is, uh, oh, let me show the actual thing first. Sail at the Bubbling Cauldron from Praiseworthy Stitches. I'm stitching this with Bernadette. And I'm stitching this on 40 count gay list from uh, Fabrics by Stephanie. So what did I do here? I went up. So I think I started about here. This window was like outlined, but I filled in the window. I did all this purple across the way here. And I went up with this other purple and then did more of the dark purple and the chimney and this crow and started outlining the second window. It's really cute. I kind of struggle a little bit stitching on this fabric. Um, I can stitch on it during the day fine, but when it gets dark outside, it gets just a little bit harder to stitch on. Okay, now I do have a new start. Um, I started it on Easter. Oh geez, let me find it. And it is Stacy Nash, the spring. Oh, let's turn the brightness up, shall we? The spring chickens pin keep. I had quite a few of the called for in stash, but there were a few that I didn't have. Um, I subbed out the pinkish and reddish color with floss from stash, but there's like three of them that I couldn't sub. So I'll just get them um, next week when I'm at Stitch West. Okay, so I started this on 46 count XJU Designs linen in the color latte. And I was nervous because I'd never stitched on 46 count. So I was nervous but this is how much I did. <laughs> I could not stop. Um, this was like one afternoon of stitching. I love 46 count. I love it, I love it, I love it. And we have a problem because I only have like a couple of those small off cuts and this one big piece and the fiber on a one piece. So that is danger levels of stash fabric for me. My brain is saying, um, alert, alert, we need more 46 counts stacked straight to the bloodstream. So, possibly the next video you might see some more. Um, I think the coverage is fantastic. It is not that different 
than stitching on 40 count either. So I'm in love. I'm in love. I need more projects on 46 count. So I'm really excited about this project. I would love to get back to stitching it, but I had to finish um, the secret stitch. And then today has been chaos. And so hopefully I can get to this later tonight. Okay, so we're making good time. Look at that. Um, so that was all my whips. That was my new starts. And I only have, I have a, just a small amount of haul. It's just fabric. Right? Yes. Okay. So the first piece of fabric is my fabric club from Grace Notes. I got, this one is 36 count and the color is called Spring Breeze. So just a really pretty pale egg, robin egg blue. Gorgeous. I did just switch my Grace Notes Club to a 40 count. I've got a lot of 36 count now and I'm comfortable with the level I've got in my stash. So I'm going to do 40 count for a few months on this and then I might switch to 46 count with her. We'll see. I'm not sure. We'll see. Uh, so yeah, and that won't take effect until because I think it's set for April already. So it won't be till May that I start getting 40 count. And then um, some really exciting linen from a company I've never ordered from before, Cedar River Linens. They have been quite popular lately and I really wanted to try some. I ordered these, is that a slub? Oh my gosh, giant slub in that. I ordered these it was February when I ordered these. They took about five weeks, five weeks to get to me. I got four pieces. They are all 40 count. This one was one of their new released colors called Maple Bar. It is gorgeous. It's like the perfect brown neutral. I love it. Oh, so pretty. And the tags on these are like really cute. And then I got the other new release. Let me find it, it's at the bottom I think. The other new color release, which is Spindrift. It's just like this really pretty white, creamy white with this, the variegation is just so subtle. I love it. It reminds me a lot of um, like color and cotton, the way their variegation is on their fabrics, just really delicate. I love it. And then the other two I got are just from their normal, um, all the like always has, ugh, always have collection. I believe these other colors will always be available too. They were just the new ones. So this is Al Albarium. Another really creamy white. I'll show Spindrift next to it. Just a subtle difference. So Spindrift has more of a kind of a brownish tan undertone and Albarium is more of a winter white, gray undertone white. Um, and then the last color is overcast and it's like a it's a tan so here's here's maple bar so it's a cool brown so we've got maple bar is a warm brown and overcast is a grayish grayish brown so let's see if i can hold them all up with each other i find that helps when I'm trying to determine what colors these are. I also did take a picture of them on my Instagram, but I think I just posted it in the stories. Okay. So here's what they look like all together. They're stunning, stunning. I cannot wait to have a project on them. And that was all my haul. So pretty proud.
proud of myself. I that's not actual haul from March because I pay I bought the Cedar River linens in February and then that's my fabric club so it just comes whether I buy it or not. I mean obviously I'm buying it but so I'm doing really good on not buying so much stitchy things trying to um prepare for Stitch West. <laughs> my haul is not going to be like it was from the last time I went to Stitch West, okay? We're gonna we're gonna reel it in a bit, okay? Because I went a little crazy. Um, so. Oh, well, I forgot I was gonna show this. Okay, so in November, I ordered my Christmas gift and it was from Russia. And I knew it wasn't gonna show up in time for Christmas because it was a handmade item. Um, but it ended up getting like stuck in customs for a really long time and it just came last week. So it was stuck in customs for like three months because it was shipped in the middle of December. <laughs> so I was worried it was lost for a little while, but, um, a wonderful lady at my post office was checking the tracking every day and, uh, I don't know why this is in here. And it finally showed up in New York, uh, US Customs. We couldn't believe it. We thought for sure it was gone. And so I have it, I picked it up at the post office and it is this beautiful wooden box from Aggie Works on Instagram. She makes all of these things to order. So this is what the box looks like inside. So, this is a little, I got magnets stuck to it, hold up, a little tray that I have storage in the bottom. So it's just, I've attached magnets to it so that I could have like needles and things on there. And then this also comes out and is a little box this and it holds my orts and my scissors so this just lifts this thing lifts off no I can't do it one-handed and so that goes there and then this part also comes out for holding like um Krynik spools I just have my seam ripper in there for now and then I've got my little what do you call this pin cushion that Rocio gave me for Christmas to hold my counting pins and this, I don't know what that's called, thingy that makes your stitches nice. Come on, go back where you're supposed to go. And so then all these little cubbies are kind of like, you can take out these little things and configure them however you want. So I keep all my knick and necks, my stitchy notions in my three-tiered cart, it fits right in the top perfectly. I can reach my scissors, got my little Kohanas in here. Can reach all my scissors perfectly. It's been amazing to have. I love it so much. It was worth the wait. So again, her Instagram is Aggie Works, A-G-I-W-O-R-K-S. She's extremely responsive to messages on Instagram. She's really lovely, really sweet gal to work with. Um, you just have to be real patient. For whatever you've ordered um but she does take payments through paypal um that's how i paid her so i came from russia came just fine and speaking of russia <laughs> i'm i think that i'm not i'm probably going to be ignorant here but um dubco the brand i have my one of my stands that i showed in the last video dubco i, I think they're a russian company they could be ukrainian though it's one of those two. It's one of those two. Um, back in January, I ordered myself, maybe it was February. It was only February. I ordered myself a lap stand from Dubco. Let me see if I can find a picture of it. Um, basically, it's like one of the ones that you sit on. So the base goes under your thighs. And the reason that I wanted it was so that so the way that I have my stitching space set up downstairs is my Lowry is on my left 
and all my things are on my left, but the TV is over here on my right. So I'm like constantly like craned this way if I to look at the TV. First world problems, I know. Um, and so I thought it would be really nice to have like something that I could lay, sit in the recliner, face forward the TV and have up nice and high to my face because I need things to be <laughs> up super high. So this is what I ordered. It's called the lap hoops holder. So I'm really excited. I got it in the rosewood color, the same color that my other stand is because I also got the, um, they have an alternate, oh, I didn't click that. They have an alternate um, head attachment. So normally the, the, the hoops holder, oh geez, please don't do that, comes with that style of head on it with the two knobs and it only holds hoops. So they created this other one called the frog um, and it is a rotary style clamp. So it changes this little base right here so that it spins like the Velky Potoki does. And also it holds Q snaps as well as hoops. So I thought I'd switch the head so I can flip like this, even though I end my threads on the front, like I'm annoying, I know. Um, but so I can also hold my Q snaps as well as hoops and that it's interchangeable with my table stand. So um, if I wanted to have the head different at a retreat, then I could. And I just got notification yesterday that that shipped and it's already left Russian, Russia. I pray, it's gotta be Russia, cause I'm just saying Russian. Russia Customs and coming to me. I'm really, really excited. I will definitely give an in-depth review of it when it comes, um, probably after I can use it for a little bit and give you an actual usage review of it. So watch for that. I'm really excited for that. So. Stitch West is next week. Stitch West is next week. I have all my bags done. I just need to put the charms on the zipper pulls. I thought I would show the bags that I'm going to bring on here just cause it's kind of fun. And I've got a massive stack down here. Uh, so I'll just kind of go through them um, quickly. So I've got this little schoolyard Halloween bag on the inside. It is pink, it's really cute. So there's that one. Let me create a space here. Okay. And then I've got this pretty birdhouse and bee skep one. And the inside looks like this. And then I have this one. The inside looks like that. I stuck with mainly like florals because it's spring, summer. So then there's this one. This is a, a lot of these fabrics are Riley Blake fabrics. Well, this one doesn't have the, so some of them have like the green on the top, some aren't all the solid flower with the green inside. And then this one, I love the mustard yellow zipper on this one. The inside looks like that. So it's like pulling out the, the orange in this flower on the front. And then this one, I love that it looked like a, oh, there's a string, a granny quilt. It's so pretty. And inside is coordinating green. Show that one. Okay, this one is, I love the turquoise on this, it's birds. So cute. 
Okay, and then this one. I love this one. I love the little bees on the top. It's so pretty. I love it. If you can hear my child in her bed right next door, she'll laughing her head off at nothing because she's alone in there trying to go to sleep. So I don't know. I don't know what's so dang funny in there. This one is so pretty. It's very like fall. Oh, I love it. And the inside is that pulling out the oranges in this flower branch, whatever these flowers down here. So pretty. This one is a very summery. Love it. So cute. And then the inside is like a lemonade color. And then this one's a little Halloween one. This is a Riley Blake fabric as well. And the inside, it's like soda pop orange. And then I only have one of each of these ones. I didn't have enough fabric, I only had one of each. So I've got one bag of the Patriotic Teresa Kogut with the navy colored um quilt star and then i've got one of the sewing birds um collection and it's got the x's fabric inside i've only got one each of those <laughs> And then the rest of the bags are ones that you have seen. They were leftover um, fabric that I had from Stitch West in October. So I've got the Vintage Santa. I've got two bags of the Vintage Santa. Um, these ones are already charmed. I don't want to get them all tangled. And then I've got two, oh, three of the Vintage Coke Santa with the Buffalo check inside. So cute. I've got one of the vintage Halloween. What's the inside of this one? Oh, mustardy yellow. I've got one of the pink floral with the hot pink zipper and it's got the coordinating inside. And I've got three of the purple flower inside is a coordinating purple so I've got three of those ones and I've got one two three four of the fat black cat with the pumpkin one this was probably my favorite one I made last year with that buffalo check or plaid we had this discussion before so I got four of those yeah so that is my bag so I'm bringing the stitch list next week um yeah, I leave on Wednesday next week. So I guess we'll just dive into life stuff. Let's see. I forgot to mention in my last video that my mom and I had taken the kids to Disney on Ice. Maybe I did mention that. You guys, I can't remember. If I mentioned that, I'm sorry. Anyways, and then it was... So this past Sunday, we had Easter. Uh, we stayed home this year for Easter. We smoked a couple racks of ribs and I made funeral potatoes and I made a coconut cake. So like I just make the box, a white box cake mix, um, just per the directions. And then when it's warm, you stab it full of holes. Like I just used a fork to prick through the whole thing. And then you pour one can of sweetened condensed milk on it and one can of coconut milk all over it. And then you put it, like wrap it and put it in the fridge. And then before you're about to eat it, you put a bunch of whipped cream on the top and um, toasted coconut on top of that. Oh, it is so good. So good. <laughs> I've been eating it every night since Easter. Yee! But it's so good. I love it. Um, so yeah, there's a little Easter treat idea if you need one. Um, and then we had Parker's first dance competition on Saturday and that was a lot of fun. It took 
it was all day. We had to get to the auditorium at like 8.30 in the morning and she didn't go on stage until almost 10.30. So it was a lot of me just like waiting around by myself because they, the girls all stay in the dressing room together. They did so good though. They did really, really good. Uh, they were 164th to dance that day, 164th group to dance. And they got first place in their age division. Um, uh, so that's really exciting. They got first place overall in their age division and they got a huge trophy that was bigger than them. It took like six of them to carry it. Um, so they did really, really, really good. I'm really proud of her. She had so much fun too. And we've got one more competition coming up. And then competitions are over for the year and then it'll just be the big recital uh, in May. So next week, okay, so I have a baby nephew being born right now, right now, this minute being born um, today. I'm so excited. I just keep checking my messages, waiting for updates. And so he's going to be born today and I'm not going to go down to see him until Wednesday next week. I'm going to leave here Wednesday morning and go and it takes me like three and a half hours to get to them in Utah. And so then I'll spend the, I'll get there around noon and I'll spend the rest of the day and evening with them and they have a guest room in their house. So I'll stay the night with them. And then that the next morning, Thursday morning, next week, Bernadette's plane gets into the airport at like 930. So since I'm driving, I thought I just, I could just pick her up. So I'll go be picking her up from the airport in the morning and then we'll kill some time until uh, my friend Amy comes down and she's possibly going to pick up, probably going to pick up Rocio. Rocio's airplane gets in like noon, 11 something noon. So she'll pick up Rocio and then they'll meet us and we'll do a little pre shopping maybe if we have enough time. I think we will. I don't know. Shepherd's Bush closes kind of early. They close at like four. So we'll see. Because I gotta go to Citrus Express too. <laughs> um, so that is the plan for Stitch West. We'd like to get our shopping done, like majority of shopping done before the retreat, and then we don't have to leave the retreat to go shopping. Um, the guest designer for this retreat is Primrose Cottage. I've never stitched anything from from them, but they have some really cute patterns. I'm excited to see what our pattern that we're given will be. Um, I just found out a few other YouTubers that I didn't know were coming are coming. Uh, Debbie from Mama Bear Stitchery is going to Stitch West. I just watched her video earlier where she said that. So that's exciting. I'll get to meet Debbie. And and then obviously, you know, hang out with all my pals, all my stitching pals. Haven't seen them since October. I'm really excited. So trying to think we've got dance here. We've got to leave in like 10 minutes. Parker's in charge of the treat. So I made cookies this morning. I've got to package them up still. <laughs> so I'll probably need to wrap up this video. Um, so that is all my stuff. Thank you for coming and watching. And next video, I will have my Stitch West update. And the last dance competition uh, is while I'm in Stitch West. So luckily my mom is going to take Parker to that. <laughs> so I won't do shows today. No time. I'll do them next time. So thanks for watching. Bye.